Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be discussing the Tampa Bay Bucks and why they're the real free agency winners. Before we get started though, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. And with that said, I hope you enjoy the video and let's dive right into it. So as I said in the intro, we're going to be talking and looking at the Bucks' free agency moves, and we're going to be determining why they're the real free agency winners. And let's just look at what they did in this free agency period. Got Chris Godwin back on the franchise tag. Resigned Rob Gronkowski, one-year $8 million deal worth up to $10 million. Um, Shaquille Barrett, resigned him to a massive four-year $68 million deal. That includes $36 million guaranteed. He's also making like $5 million or $6 million next year. Um, because of the cap hit and how they had to restructure the contracts. Um, Resign Levante David on a two-year deal worth $25 million with a $3.5 million cap hit in 2021. Kevin Minter, resign him. Resign Ryan Suckup to a three-year deal worth $12 million. And I just want to add something for a quick second. This video uh, was recorded before the Ndamukong Sue signing as well as the Leonard Fournette re-signing. Both of those guys re-signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but it doesn't detract from my argument in any way. It actually continues and maintains that. But I just want to let you guys know that Leonard Fournette has re-signed with the Buccaneers. So is Ndamukong Sue. Uh, but at the end of the day, those are, those are the moves that the Bucs have made. But the argument r remains the same. And now let's dive into that bit. This is how you win free agency. You re-sign your players. Tampa Bay obviously won the Super Bowl last year, and they're trying to run it back. They're trying to run it back. They're trying to go back, run it for two. I, I don't know the term that they're they're using. I, I know that uh, NFL Network's been talking about that a little bit. But nonetheless, this is how you win free agency. You re-sign the talent you have because the, the problem with free agency in the NFL is that in the NFL, when teams and, and when players are free agents and you sign and you give out big contracts to free agents, you don't know how they're going to fit in your team. You don't, right? We can talk about it. I mean, there's tons and tons of examples. The one that comes to mind first uh, is a guy like Kyle Van Noy. I'm, I'm a Dolphins fan, obviously. Um, and Kyle Van Noy signed four-year, $51 million deal just last year, came to the Dolphins. That was actually pretty productive, uh, but he was cut a year after. Shaq Lawson, an, an, another Dolphins name. Um, but, you know, this happens. This happens in the NFL. Big contracts get handed out. Another really... Uh, a uh, big one. I remember a few years ago, the Jets went after uh, the the Rams former uh, former corner uh, Tremaine Johnson, like five year, eighty one million dollar deal. Yeah, how did that work out? So this is the thing in in free agency. You don't know how these players are going to fit in, fit in with their new teams. This the, and the best thing about the Bucks here, none of these moves, none of these moves here, absolutely none of these moves have any you know are, are scary in any way because we know how all these guys are going to fit in with the team. We do. We do, and there's been some talk that Ndamukong and Sue might resign. This this video is recorded before that may or may not happen, so just look out for that. But nonetheless, this is this is exactly how you win for agency. Chris Godwin signed the franchise tag. Okay, cool. Elite receiver. He would have made probably like eighteen million dollars on the open market. Maybe an extra probably more like fifteen to sixteen. You get him on the franchise tag. I think that's that's actually quite. I think it's around eighteen million dollars anyway. But you you resign him on 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 the franchise tag for one year. You get him around. You keep him Godwin. Uh, you, you keep Godwin and, and Evans together. You keep that elite passing game. You bring back Rob Gronkowski on a one-year deal worth up to $10 million. Really smart move here. You know Gronk already fits with the system. You already know it works. Shaq Barrett obviously was the you know the elite pass rusher uh, paired up with JPP that really got that, that Bucks defense going in the Super Bowl. Really fantastic. Levante David, arguably the best linebacker in all of football last year. Really fantastic. Him and Devin White are are, are, are insane together, and they're they're the two of the better uh, uh, linebackers in the NFL. They're they're the best linebacking duo in the NFL. You keep them together. Ryan Suckup, who was absolutely fantastic for the Bucks last year, he kind of solved their kicking problems. I mean, the Bucks were a team that hadn't had a really uh, successful kicker, or like uh, just you know consistent kicker for a while now, and you get Suckup three year, twelve million dollar deal. All these deals are deals to keep the team together, to keep the team in place, um, to, to, to keep the, the championship run together. And, and the logic is, if you have the same team that won the Super Bowl last year, what's if, if you bring the same team back, what's going to happen? I mean, the, the team's going to be just as good. And sure, there's there's an argument where it's like, hey, the other teams are going to know what you guys are going to do, and, and you're going to have issues. And maybe, but the, the, the truth is, by keeping the core of this team together, you keep Godwin together, you keep Gronkowski, Barrett, David, even a guy like Ryan Suckup, kickers are really important uh, pieces to, to, to Super Bowl runs. You're keeping the core of the team together. So no matter the other guys you bring in around you to get better on, on the offensive and defensive side of the football, 
You're keeping the core of the team together. You're, you're keeping the playmakers. You're keeping Godwin. You're keeping Gronk. You're keeping Barry. You're keeping David. Brady signed an extension. Um, you're keeping, you're, you obviously still have Devin White. You still have JPP. You still have the guys in the secondary. Um, you still have the guys up front who really were massive. Tristan Wirfs last year. You're keeping all those core players together. You're keeping the offense together. You're keeping the defense together. And that chemistry is going to really be influential for the Bucks next year because it's going to allow them to go on another Super Bowl run. It's going to allow them to make the playoffs again next year. It's probably going to mean that they're going to win the NFC South without Drew Brees there. So with that said, the Bucks won for agency because they kept their players. They know what their players are going to do. They kept their players, and for the and for those reasons, they're they're the winners. They're the real winners of free agency because they already know how these players are going to play in their system, and they know how much money they spent on them, and they know exactly why that money is worth it because all these players are proven to work in the Buck system. So for those reasons, I think the Bucks absolutely killed free agency because they re-signed their players and they know exactly what they're getting with those players. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.